here's Timmy. Right here. Yay! Look at that. She's driving the ship. Steering the ship. The USS Constitution, <coughs> which I believe was built in the 1780s or 90s. I think this was maybe War of 1812. Maybe. Oh, and it was built by Live Oaks, Georgia, St. Simons Island. Take a photo? Oh, you can take photos. I'm not a photo guy. Now that video phone has been invented, I no longer take photos. Now they actually still take this ship out to sail at least once a year. I think they have to go at least uh, one nautical mile to uh, sail it to keep it commissioned. It is still a commissioned ship. Like I said, it is manned by the Marines. Anyway, they sell once a year, probably like 4th of July or something like that. And I think they sell out to one of the islands where there was a fort. They do something like that once a year, like I said, just to keep it commissioned. So it's still an operating order. And I'm sure they have to learn how to tie all these knots. Because everybody in the Navy, well, I don't know. <laughs> but the guys on this ship, I'm sure, have to know how to tie all this stuff off. There's a specific way to do it. This has been, I mean, this ship is in fantastic shape. It's absolutely shined and taken care of. Spectacular. Awesome. There's the, uh, I think that is a World War II, maybe a uh, destroyer, maybe? I don't know, they told us while ago I wasn't paying attention. It's hard to pay attention to World War II stuff when you've got a, something built in the 1780s that you're on. I've lost Tammy. While I'm looking at all this historical cool stuff, she's over there buying a badge that says Old Ironside or something. I don't know. I don't know what she's doing. Here's the city. Let's see what we got right here. There's probably another one. And you can see down here on the lower decks, the cannons are much, the cannons much heavier than on the top deck. Very, very interesting and nice. Love this. Look at these. The guy over there is explaining how they fire these. I'm sure they have to learn how to do that. I'm sure they actually probably fire one from time to time. This bottom deck's really larger than I imagined. This is the third deck. It is much lower because the average person, well actually they said the tallest man in uh, Boston when this came here and when this was used was probably 5'7". So the average person was shorter, much shorter than 5'7". And you can see my head goes to about right here. On these, on these beams. <laughs> Timmy likes the chairs and the tables. These are, I guess these are individual rooms. Quarters. Pretty cool. I 
And you can see how the quarters would have been set up with these little hammocks that they slept in. It's funny, he's talking about how they had to use their lanterns and all that kind of stuff. Which would be, this, this ship is made of wood, so <laughs> you had to be careful. Okay, so this is a destroyer, World War II destroyer. Now this one you can just walk straight on. You don't have to go show your license and all that kind of stuff because it's not a commission. That's a lot of people don't understand that. They don't understand why you have to show your license and all that kind of stuff to get on the USS Constitution. All this is, is basically just a, I mean this ship never moves. It's a museum. Anti-aircraft gun. Forty millimeter. Apparently people were much taller by the time World War II rolled around. I've been on a uh, submarine before, uh, the one in Chicago, I can't remember what submarine that is, but it's a World War II class, and it's pretty cramped, and you'll hit your head in there a lot too. Laundry quarters, I bet those are pretty comfortable. Of course, well, I don't know, that may be what they wore daily, I don't know. If you're in the Navy, if you're a squid, you can let me know. Here's their kitchen. Huh. Let me get this shot in there. The mast. Oh, this is really cool. Okay, we are walking up to Bunker Hill, which surprisingly is all uphill. It's all uphill, Tammy. You didn't tell me that. Well, it's Bunker Hill. The uh, window box business up here is thriving. That's the only way you, most of these people can have any plants. And there's some very pretty window boxes. Look at this one. It's all decorated for Halloween. But all this is pretty much all residential. Very nice. So they have a little garden area right here. Yeah, I like it. Here's a look down one of the streets. These are some very, I'm sure, nice places to live here. There's an old house. There's Bunker Hill right up there. Here are here's some pretty window boxes. Right here is Bunker Hill, where the battle wasn't even fought. Unless this is the other hill where it was actually fought on a Now we get to go downhill on Pleasant Street. We are looking for the Warren Tavern. It always amazes me in these places like this how you know they have to make really good use of their space. You know, and we have that big yard. And you can just pile up stuff and burn it and whatever. You can't do stuff like that here. I mean, you see a few grills and stuff like that. Some of these places have little bitty yards. Of course, none of them have grass because that would be a real pain to have to take care of grass. 
but they have plants and stuff. They're real pretty. All of these, I haven't seen any. Look at that. Uh, yeah. I haven't seen anywhere in here. A little dead end. A little alcove there. And then, you know, they have stuff up on the roofs. Some of these houses. <clears throat> it's very pretty down through here. And these are really, uh, these are like 1780s, uh, I believe. It's collard. Collard greens. They're growing collard greens. Hey, we found some collard greens up here in the mass. What about that? Okay, we are at Warren's Tavern. A very happy. Let me tell you I'm happy. I'm happy because I'm sitting down. And I climbed Bunker Hill. I know. Chris didn't tell me I was going to Bunker Hill. Well, it was a hill. And I'm getting to have brunch. And she's getting to sit the down. The highlight of CBC's life is eating. Yep. And this is a, like we said, this neighborhood was probably 1780s. I think they rebuilt it right after the revolution when it got burnt down. Oh, look, I got me some earrings. Oh, Timmy got some earrings. What are they? At the USS Constitution Museum. Yes. You know, they call this Bean Town. Yeah. I haven't seen a single bean on the menu. We haven't. Or beans offered to be on a menu. I'm trying to think. No I beans. think I may have seen them on one menu. Maybe one menu. No beans in Bean Tower. Another interesting thing here is you're not going to see any two and three hundred year old trees like you see at our house in Cumberland Island and in our neighborhood because they cut down every single tree within 200 miles of here probably. So none of these trees are old. Old Glory. There it is. In case you've been looking for it, right there. Right there. What are you looking at, Tammy? The seals. <laughs> Listen to him. I know, they're going crazy. I feel. Uh, feel very nautical right now. If you're really feeling nautical, I think next time I go out on my boat, I'm going to tell uh, Tammy, instead of saying I've been naughty, I'll say I've, I, I've been nautical. I'm sorry I've been nautical today. But th out here on the pier, it's awesome because you can see all these boats. Let me, let me show you guys. Right out here on the harbor, there's lots of people out here. You got all these boats over here moored, all these sailboats and stuff. Boats coming in with the tourists. I don't know where my wife went. I hope she's not being nautical. Look at all the sails out there. Cool. I don't, uh, most of the places where I'm at down there in St. Mary's where I'm fishing and stuff, you can't. Uh, it's not a whole ton of like just wide open water. Of course, you know, you go out in the ocean, there it is, but I don't go out in the ocean very far or that much. But here, you know, you got so many people, tons of boats, very nautical.